Ethan's art life. The crisp autumn leaves crunched under Ethan's worn-out sneakers as he strolled down the quaint Parisian street. It had been a year since inheriting his eccentric aunt's fortune, a year of whirlwind changes and newfound freedom. No longer tethered to the drudgery of his 9-to-5, Ethan reveled in the luxury of having enough. Enough to trade the cramped city apartment for a cozy flat overlooking the Seine. Enough to swap his monotonous routine for adventures across continents. And most importantly, enough to pursue his long dormant passion, painting. Initially, the freedom was intimidating. He felt adrift, like a sailboat with no wind in its sails. But he soon discovered the joy of unstructured days. He spent mornings lingering in cafes, observing the city awaken over steaming mugs of Café au la. Afternoons were dedicated to exploring hidden museums, marveling at the vibrant strokes of Van Gogh and the delicate sculptures of Rodin. His canvas, once abandoned in a dusty corner, became his constant companion. He captured the Parisian cityscape bathed in golden sunlight, the bustling markets overflowing with colorful produce, the melancholic beauty of rain-slicked cobblestones. Each brushstroke was an expression of gratitude, a testament to the life he now embraced. His travels began tentatively, a weekend trip to the lavender fields of Provence, where he painted the endless purple expanse under a cloudless sky. Emboldened, he ventured further, losing himself in the bustling souks of Marrakesh, soaking in the serene landscapes of Kyoto, and capturing the raw energy of Rio's carnival. With each journey, his art evolved, reflecting the kaleidoscope of cultures he encountered. He learned to speak the language of color, expressing the vibrant joy of Moroccan spices, the serene calm of a Zen garden, and the pulsating rhythm of samba dancers. His fame was unexpected. A chance encounter with a renowned art critic in a small Tuscan village led to an exhibition in a Parisian gallery. His paintings, infused with his travel experiences and raw emotions, resonated with audiences. The once unknown artist became a sought-after name, his works adorning prestigious collections worldwide. But financial success never overshadowed the true purpose of his journey. Ethan found joy not in the accolades, but in the freedom to create, to express, to live. He still painted in cafes, sharing his coffee with aspiring artists, their shared laughter echoing among the clinking cups. He continued to travel, not for fame, but for the stories etched in every wrinkle of an ancient monument, the warmth of a shared meal with strangers. One winter evening, he stood on the banks of the Seine, the city lights twinkling like fireflies scattered across the canvas of the night. A sense of contentment washed over him. He had enough, enough art supplies to chase his muse, enough adventures to fill a lifetime, and enough love to share with the world through his paintings. The story of Ethan is not about extravagance or material possessions. It's about the freedom that comes with enough, a freedom to pursue passions, explore possibilities, and connect with the world in meaningful ways. It's a reminder that true wealth lies not in the quantity of our possessions, but in the richness of our experiences and the depth of our connections.